kazi wapo. Nataka kusema hivi. MCA MCA ulichaguliwa na kila mtu. Hakuna mambo ya kusema eti wengine wanakura nyingi, wengine wanakura kidogo. Wote ni wa Kenya. Na hii ndio mambo imepeleka gashagwa nyumbani na wewe pia atakupeleka nyumbani. Acha ubaguzi wa kikabila, ubaguzi wa kirangi na ubaguzi wa kifedha. Wakazi wa hapa wanaumia. Wakazi wa hapa wanaumia. Saa hii watu wanafanya biashara huko nje. Mimi nimepita kule, mikojo, mavi, kila kitu kipo pande huu. Na watu wamegaramika. Wewe utakubali mtu aje auze vitu kwa mlango wako? Will you allow that? Mlangoni hapa unatoka nje mtu yuko hapo. Kinyume na sheria. Tafutia watu market, soko. Tafutia watu soko, watu wako soko. Na pia ni watu wako. Simama nao, kaa nao, ongea nao, pateni suluhisho. Wewe kama kiongozi. Watu vijana wanakaa kwenye fence hapa, wana, wanaeka mawe kwenye 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 siwe. Na iki block nini? Mavi narudi kwenye nyumba. Hakukaliki ndani ya nyumba siwe drainage system imezibwa. Mvua ikinyesha maji narudi kwenye nyumba. Watu electronic zinaharibika, furniture zinaharibika. Wewe uko kwako unalala vizuri, unakula vizuri, wengine wanaumia. Watu wanakuja kwako kuelezea shida zao unaambia eti hawana kura, eti kura yao ni kidogo. Shame on you. Bwana Magoba shame on you. Jo hapa, jo usikize wananchi, kilio chao ukae nao, uwaelezee una mipango gani ya kuwatetea? Si kukaa huko unatuma guns. Unatuma guns waje watishie wakazi. Mtu hata kutoka kwenye gate anaogopa. Mtu kutoka kazini kurudi kwa nyumba anaogopa. Watu hawezi ishi hivyo. Na ukiendelea hivyo inabidi ushikwe upelekwe jela. You are not a leader. Unachukua guns unawalipa pesa waje wa dhulumu wananchi wengine. Instead hizo pesa wafanyie wa Kenya kazi. Hii pesa ya hapa ya barabara ilitoka. Nyuma ilitoka. Mmegawanya mmekula mnaandika barua eti pesa ilirudi. Ilirudi wapi? Can you account for that money? Elezea wananchi kweli pesa ya hapa ilienda wapi? Watu wanazunguka wakipima na engineer nini wanapima kila kitu? Alafu mnakuja mnakula pesa eti hawa ni wadosi. Kwani wadosi? Hawana haki. Hawana haki ya kutengenezewa. Kuwekewa taa. Taa ya pawa ikewi inawaka. Ni wananchi. Wana magoba acha kutumia kifua. I don't know whether you are a learned person or not. Sto acha kutumia kifua. Kuna sheria hii Kenya. Na hawa wananchi wana haki. Walipigia kura, walipigia rais kura, walipigia mbuge kura, wakapigia mende mrep kura, seneta kura, na tunataka viongozi wengine waingilie kati hii jambo. Hawa ni taxpayers, wanalipa ushuru. Na kila mlipa ushuru ya papate ya kiyake kama mkenya. Haiwezi kuwa wa Sudan wanakuja wanaishi vizuri, wa Somali wanakuja wanaishi vizuri, na sisi wa Kenya tunadhulumio. Thank you. Unaenda kwenye passport msomali anapita direct. Wewe mkenya umekaa hapo unaambiwa ngojea ngojea ngojea. Hiyo lazima iishi katika hii Kenya. Na magoba lazima ianze na wewe. Hiyo mambo iishe. Asante sana mwingine aje aje. Mosho. Umoni. Naitwa Kagiko. Naitwa Kagiko. Hii mambo ya kutesta watu MCF nyo. MC you are not doing a good thing. Shugulikia watu wa Jakaranda este. Wamekulilia kililio yao na utaki kuwa shugulikia kakisa. Hizo ni fence huku karibu na barabara. Utaki kushugulika na hiyo mambo. Kuna tupo takataka kwa hiyo fence. Na ukiamlo uendo uitua utaki kushugulikia. The same wa watu wanakulilia. Walikupatia kura. Kama watu wanini Jakaranda. Waloa savana. Walikupatia hiyo kura. Na wamekuambia wamekuja kukupatia kililio yao. Utaki kuwa shugulikia. Wakati wenye wanamua kutoa pesa wao kwa mfuko, wajishugulikie yukuta kuweka fence, hautaki kushugulika nayo. Na the same way hapa nyuma ingina kwa nini jakaranda kiwanja. Kuna vijana wako wako, 
the same way wana wana nini wanaweka mawe kwa hiyo ya sewage line wa, ndio wakuje watoe nini hapo wataki kwenda kazi mimi nasema magoba penye uko wachana na ukirimtimbe yenye uko nayo shughulika na kazi ushughulikie wananchi kazi hata watu wa jakaranda ni watu wa wanini wa loa savana au fai kuwatenga waliamka asubuhi na wakaenda wakakuchagua hata kama wakukupatia kula ni haki ya mwana Kenya kushughulikiwa na kila kitu ndio kitu yenye iko magoba wachana tukwambie ukweli shughulikia watu wa jakaranda este ndio cha kwenye iko hapa hivi jakaranda este tunataka itolewe ishughulikie watu wa nini hapa sabana waache kutupa uchafu kwa nini waloa sabana kwa nini hiyo uchafu hatutaki tunataka watu wa jakaranda ya nini washughulikiwe jakaranda este au watu kama hao wengine wa nini loa sabana bado hiyo ndio kitu moja yenye inafaa ikuwe magoba kiza kilio yao watu na hii barabara ishughulikiwe na si wage line watengenezewe because mambo ya kurudisha maji ndani ya manyumba hiyo kitu si mzuri hiyo kitu si mzuri inafaa ishughulikiwe kama ni pesa zilikuliwa za kunini si wage line zikiakwa kwa mfuko ni lazima tujue ukweli kama hizo pesa ni kukula mlikula sisi kama wakaji wa jakaranda este ni lazima tujue ukweli na tushughulikiwe kama watu wa jakaranda este na tumeongea ukweli ni iko naitwa Kage Paul. Okay mimi naitwa Hat of Lion in short wananiita Hat. Mimi kama mkazi wa hapa Jakaranda. Hii ni form hata ni wewe magoba mwenyewe ndio ulisign. Ulisign mwenyewe na mikono yako. Itakuwaje sasa hii unanyanyasa? Unanyanyasa wana Jakaranda. Uko unawanyanyasa kama nani? Walikuchagua uwe hapo usaidie. Na lazima ukue neutral. Hakuna ile ile unakuja unapata side moja ndio unataka kuiangalia na side nyingine uangalie. Mbona uko unanyanyasa? Una unanyanyasa. Umekuwa mnyanyasaji. Unataka sasa ueleweke aje na wewe ndio unataka tena ukue kiongozi. Na ndio kwa maana mimi nasema watu wengine, muangalieni ni viongozi wa gani mnachagua. Muachenge tu kuja mnaimbiwa maneno mazuri hapa na mnachagua mtu akishaingia na kuwa dikteta. Akishaingia hana haja na nyingi. Angalia vile anawatenda. Angalia unapata hii siwe jela iko hapa hivi anataka watoto sahihi kuna ugonjwa kuna ugonjwa nyingi sana unakuja unapata kama pizi ni siwe zime block nyumba zime block hao watoto watawapelekea hospitali hata wapelekea yeye hapo pale hivi anakula na bibi yake akishiba akinona akipita na magari makubwa hapa hivi na watu wanateseka mimi nakwambia magoba it is time unaenda kutoka na hiyo ndo kitu yenye iko haitakuwa unaanza kutesa watu unatesa watu kwa nini wao ukifanywa hivi utafila aje Watu wanaanza kuteseka wakilia. Wewe kama unajua kweli, unapenda watu, wapatie basi mali utawawekea soko. Waache kusumbua. Yes. Eh? Wapatie mali utawawekea soko. Maana wewe ni MCA na MCA uko na power. Enda utafute mali, waache kusumbua watu hapa hivi bwana. Waache kusumbua ulichaguliwa ili uhudumie kila mkenya. Na hiyo ndio kitu yenye iko. Hata hata rais akiingia Ye angalia ange tu pande nyingine imempigia kura. Ye analetanga maendeleo kwa kila mtu. Na wewe pia ufai kuangalia kuna side imekupatia kura. Unafaa ulete maendeleo kwa kila mtu. Unafaa uangalie haki ya kila mmoja. Si ati unabaki wewe, wewe unataka ati nini? Ati unataka kutishia nani bwana? Wacha nikwambie, kuna wale wamejaribu kutishia watu na wako. Usianze kutishia hawa kazi wa hapa bwana. Tutasimama sisi kama watetezi wa wanyonge. Tunawalende kama wanyonge wanateseka. Dada yetu ameongea hapa. Hata mpaka mimi nimefeel ndani ya moyo wangu chungu sana. Eh? Wewe mwenyewe ndo ulisaini hii barua. Wewe mwenyewe ndo unawageuka. Ama unataka kuonyesha kwa sababu uko kwa uongozi. Wacha nikwambie japo kiburi ipo aibu. Hata Biblia ilisema. Na aibu inaenda kukupata magoba. Ukiona mwananchi amejitokeza analia hivi. Eh? Wewe ndo ulisaini hii barua hii. Wewe sahi. Wewe sahi ndo ndo unabaki unawaruka wewe ndo saa hii unataka tusifiwe wacha nikwambie sisi hatuko kukusifu tuko kukuonya na mimi nasema tutakuonya na tutasimama na ukweli na tutatetea mwananchi na mwananchi lazima apate haki yake hatutakubali hati viongozi wengine wako wanaingia mamlakani wanaingia wanaingia wamevaa ngozi ya kondoo kumbe ndani ni ngwa mwitu wanaanza kutafuna wenyao wenzao wakiwanyonya nyonya wamekuwa kama kupe wanawanyonya wanawanyonya sisi tunasema hivi mheshimiwa magoba wacha kukua kama kupe 
wacha kunyonya mwananchi simama na mwananchi na tutasimama kukuambia kama wanajakaranda na ufanye venye unaona lakini chenye tumesema tuta stand na right ya mwana jakaranda na mimi nasema lazima wapate haki yao na serikali lazima ishughulikie ili jambo haraka na hizi si waji tunataka tunataka tuone zimesha zimeshughulikiwa watoto wako hapa watogo na hatutaki hizi magonjwa na shule hiyo vitu lazima mheshimiwa magopa ninakuita tu mheshimiwa lakini siko hapa nikuite maana you are a dictator you are just a dictator mimi nakwambia you are a dictator in closing nakukumbusha omoji huyo osa nasema in closing shule iko hapa wamekosiwa kufunga geti ya shule watoto hawezi ingilia geti ya shule wanaingililia geti ya estate ndio walinde watoto waende wakaingilie uko ndani bwana magoba ni pia vizuri umeambiwa Ulienda shule tumeenda shule. Sheria lazima ifuatwe. Lazima utatoa kila mtu ambaye anauza especially madawa ya kulevia na kazi yote inaendelea kwa kuwa ya shule, mashule yaheshimiwe. Ma estate ziheshimiwe, manyumba za watu ziheshimiwe. Ni vizuri umeulizwa na ndugu yangu vizuri sana. Kama wewe mwenyewe unaweza enda kuchukua mtu akute aweke vitu zake auzie nje ya nyumba yako. Wacha hivyo. Uh, their houses behind here our houses side A wanachukua misomali wanadunga wameanza kugunja they are cracking the walls of houses hiyo yote tulikuari tulikuaribu na tukakwambia lakini hausiki sasa zile tumeamua kuchukua hatua tujitengenezee wenyewe wewe ndio umekuwa kivingiti wewe ndio umekuwa kivingiti wakati umefika utuache kama huwezi follow what you signed up for Ju sisi tu kuongea mdomo sisi si watu wa kuchezewa sisi watu wa kudanganywa ukisema uandike chini na uweke signature umeshindwa na kwa sababu umeshindwa step aside na ninataka kuambia county ya area ya Loa Savannah head office we take we are so grateful county head headquarters town wamejaribu kutusaidia sana lakini ikikuja hii county ya hapa hii area MCA amewaweka kwa mfuko. Sijua ama ni woga na wauzia ama ni nini. Ndio leo asubuhi wako kuja. I also want to tell the world administrator. Time ya kutreten mimi imefika mwisho. Kuniambia utakuja kunishikia watu. Chifu anakugojea amekuambia uende ukamshike. Chifu anakugojea uende ukishike. Time has come kwa na MCA. Uache kutumia ofisi za serikali vibaya. Uachana na ofisi ya world administrator because it is now your puppet uachane na ofisi ya county ya hapa Loa Savana uachane nao wafanye kazi yao last wednesday they came na umewauzia baridi ama situ ni nini umewaambia mpaka wanaambia chief hawawezi kuja so this has to stop and we are calling upon the county government ile headquarter mtusaidie sasa mtoke town mkuje jakaranda sasa mtusaidie na most agent mkuu imeanza mtusaidie kutengeneza ile drainage Drainage tengenezwe na utuonyeshe vile tutasilio pahali mawe ziache kutupwa. Na mtu simamie tumalize hii kazi tu tumeianza we are not stopping. We will not stop. Na tuendi kulipa pesa ingine county. What administrator who are you to come and tell me to go and pay again? Na delay imetoka kwa ile ofisi ilitupatia barua. Nikatuambia tuendelee kujenga. Who are you? Hiyo kuuziwa uoga na MC ama kuwepo kwa mfuko na MCA. Ifike mwisho. Ifike mwisho na ifike mwisho na kwa hayo machache nimemaliza kwa majina mimi ni mkazi wa Jakaranda Kote State kwa muda wa miaka kama 23 I am the chairperson in this estate na sisi na wakaji wetu wenzangu hapa tumekusanika siku ya leo lakini hatuko wengi kwa sababu majority wako kazi lakini sasa kimefanya tushike tu uh, we meet here today ni shida zile zimetukumba kama estate na tutaanza with the current position. Tulikuwa tumepata uh, barua kutoka county government which uh, we started the process uh, last year January. We used a uh, particular person now to organize ya vile tutaenda county nini vitu zipatikane. Lakini kwa sababu we are um, we live in Moa Savana in Jakaranda I need to make that very clear. Just because we are in Moa Savana the first response we got eh, 
um, that the county office could not issue us with a letter, we needed to come and talk to the local um, to the local political people in our area. That is Rua Savannah, namely starting one with the MCA. Sasa tuka, we as a committee in Jakaranda tuka kachini. We tried to engage in here and say, tutasaidia, tutasaidia, lakina tutasaidia. So when we wake up to go and follow up again, we need uh, we need documents in the tengeneza uwa yetu wafa njiangete, anaenda na kanyagia. So when we realized it was a problem, we decided now to do it, um, to really try and push our way to see how best we can do. Fast forward two years later, a month and a half ago, yeah, we got the letter county for beautification and also now reinforcing Uwayetu. Because previously we had uh, tulikuwa na tulikuwa na uwa, tumetengeneza maua, tumepanda, beautification ilikuwa sawa kwa isi. The same local politicians, they hired people, especially usiku, kukuja who vandalize. So Uwayetu ika vandalize iwa. Fast forward, nimerudi kwa wenyeji hapa Essex. I wish it was a weekday or a weekend watoke wote. Ile asira wakonayo. Tunambia watu changa, uh, pesa yao inaenda inaaribiwa. Haya, eventually tukarudi tukawakonvince. Tukawambia tuchange tena. Kwa sababu county government imeagree na inatusaidia kutengeneza uwa. And they are saying they are actually supporting beautification of areas. So, tukachanga pesa, kidogo tu, atasi mingi. Tukasema sasa tiweke uwa. Tumepata barua. Kupata barua, tukafuata sheria from the office of the DCC, tukafuata the chief, currently even the chief is on the ground, because we are still under threat. Amesema wakikuja, wale wanakuja, wakuja waanze na yeye. So the DCC office is needing so much support, the, the chief and the OCPD office. Na wakasema watashirikiana na sisi. Tukaambiwa muanze kazi Wednesday last week. Last week on Wednesday, we called workers, wakuja waanze kazi. Kukuja, wakanza kuchimba, hawana shikuli na mtu. The county came. The, the chief was the first one to arrive. So, and uh, who else came? Um, and some police officer, wakuwa wengi. And the inspectorate, they came. Kazi kanza. Kazi, kazi kuanza, all of a sudden, the MCA came with a group of almost 30 goons. They came, they started harassing us, harassing our workers, kuanyanganya mpaka vitu za kujenga. And I want to make something very clear. Iuwa, ii tunapanda maua. It is a school. It is called St. Mary. St. Mary is inside Jakaranda Estate. So this is a school. Um, less than two months ago, we had to use the police to help us evict a drug trafficker. Alikuwa na uzia madawa mpaka hapa kwa gate. The residents, because we were not, we never get any help from the local political MCA support. So we had to mobilize as residents to eat a policy wakuja watusaidie hapa. Eventually it almost turned like nisisi tunakuja kushikwa kwa sababu ya kujaribu kufurusha a drug peddler wakuja kutuaribia watoto kwa manyumba na shule. Umesikia shule ndio hii na wanauzia kwa uwa. That is number one. Fast forward today. Tukambiwa on Wednesday tukambiwa hold on. Musiendele kwa sababu we don't have enough police officers MCA mekuja na guns zake, wameanza kufunika mashimo. Wameanza kuinsite watu kwa inje, atitudungwa visu. Already, some of the residents have even death threats. Tunambio tutadungwa visu. Na before the MCA came to incite people, walikuwa wanatoka visu. So kazi ya MCA hii area, ni kupiganisha jakaranda and the area people. Now, I am asking a simple question. MC Anasema, focus waendele kuhuza on the school perimeter wall. The first question I would like to ask the MC, alienda shule, anajua sheria za Kenya ati hakuna hoping inafakwa ikiendelea kwa uwa ya shule. That is number one. Nina mwambia tembe tukidogo wapa jakaranda, don home primary. Ukuta yote ya don home primary, does it have focus? Why does it happen that it is only Jakaranda Court Estate that we always suffer issues created by politi politicians in this area? Umenielewa? So now, amekuja na watu wake, tumekukuzwa, tumekatazo kufanya kazi. Remember Barua ya County, it is one man. Walisema atakama kutakuwa na shida, you will continue with work kwa sababu. This is njo tumechelewa. 
we call the same we call the DCT office and we call the chief the chief was here tukamwambia sasa tufanye aje wakasema simamisheni leo tukipata enough reinforcement on tuesday muendelee as early as the day before yesterday we were following tukamwambia kazi muanze as early as possible tutakuwa hapo today today wa wakaskin wakaanza kazi all of a sudden chief akakuja chief kukuja the county of course tukianza kazi chief alikuwa ametuambia tuwezi anza kazi kama county itakuja although county ilikuwa hapa last week nikatuonyesha kule mashimo itachimbwa na kule tutaweka ua na kule tutapanda miti so the county was here last week and it will affirm that but when the mca came he started now dictating kusema ati vile kutaenda he was not consulted so now the county was asking but hii ni kazi yetu so we stopped so leo tumeanza tena tukasikia tena um, MCA amepigia ame county ya area not the headquarters so even the headquarters doesn't know what is going on county ya hii area imepigiwa simu na MCA wakaambia wasionekane hapa tisijui wasikuje and true if he did not say he can say this is here say where a county today they were supposed to be here in the morning the chief has tried to call them mpaka nasikia wamekosana juu wamekata kukuja nani amewaambia wasikuje the MCA on top of that i received a call from situi the ward administrator calling me and almost threatening me ananiambia i hear you are the one in charge you are the one mobilizing nikamuliza mobilizing what akaniambia nyinyi ndio unaeka watu atiwajenge hiyo barua yenu ime expire nikamwambia are you calling from the county or where are you calling from ndio akasema kazi introduce the ward administrator ananiambia anatuma polisi wakuje washike watu wetu watifanye kazi county county ndio ilitupatia barua ikatuambia kwa sababu hata kama ni sisi tumechelewa bado kazi inaendelea tulianza kazi kama barua ija expire mc akakuja hapa kutupatia threat na kuchapa na kumobilize watu wote watifunge visiku so we want to understand whether the 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 mca mca ni politician huyu politician anafuataga sheria alienda shule akasoma sheria na ku, na kuharass wa, sisi watu hatujiwezi inamaanisha nini amechaguliwa na watu hapa alinde watu i want to pose another major question lower savanna should have a market kwa sababu watu wange kwa kuzia kwa uwa ya jakaranda they on our wall perimeter this is lower savanna and cielo atujibu soko ya lower savanna is it jakaranda court estate to hamisha manyumba kwa kuje waeke soko hapa because as we all know and even if we go to research hakuna area tunaweza sema haina soko soko ya lower savanna iko wapi achukue watu awahamishe huko na wapatie anashindwa kufanya kazi yake kwa nini anachagua kazi ndogo ndogo ya kupiganisha watu hawajiwezi hiyo ndio swali nataka kumuuliza siku ya leo we have another issue in jakaranda this is the major one eh? haya the second one was a talking ilianza over five years ago tumeandika barua hii ni file moja tuko na file nyingine kama tatu hakuna ofisi haina barua ya usaidizi tusaidike hapa tutengeneze turudishe huwa si tutengeneze ilikuwa ikaharibiwa kata si of the same people now this is that is the first issue the second issue it is um, our drainage system we requested what happened five years ago again we started the process after the county government came and did um, the the sewer line sewer line wakatengeneza juu ya drainage ya kutoa maji the main exit ya Jakaranda exit meaning that maji imefungiwa kukinyesha kidogo maji narudi kwa manyumba za watu inaja inaribu vitu tukaanza kufuatilia tukafuatilia tukafuatilia haikuwa inawezekana eventually when the mca came to kamwambia we have been following up on this matter can you assist us akasema yes sisi we are learned people we don't uh, we don't deal physical discussion so we wrote down the first thing you need to address is the drainage system which was vandalized it was okay but it was vandalized so he said he's going to assist fast forward two years in his position a matter that was supposed to be done immediately it has never been done it has never been done the first problem was that drainage drainage mpaka leo hatujapata usaidizi imechukua hatua sisi kujichukua tujipeleke county headquarters huko hata wako na information yet county ya hapa wako na all that information lakini kwa sababu wana sijui wanaongeleshwa wanatukanyagia tushinde tukiteseka we went to their headquarters we got assistance from the director in charge of that office akatuma watu hapa when those people came walitumwa from head office walikuja hapa kupewa threats na wakarudi hapa kutuambia 
So me, I'm sitting and asking, is our local Lower Savannah MCA Bonamagoba above the law, above the county government, above the DCC office, above the OCPD office? How is it that he's at the chief? This is when the left Uganda Mika Haka in Kiteseka, in Msimu Yampoi Mianza, Manyumbaza watu zimianza kuflat tena. Because we said, we even, I even called him and I told him, Wacha tuchange ataka manuel fusita manini, tukuje tujichimbie drini. Because it is outside the gate, tukiende kuchimba, tutashikwa. Wale tunalipa, we are Kenyans, we are paying, we are taxpayers. These are people who are being paid by the government to help us. But their work is plain and simple. Instead of doing the job they have been told to do, they are making work in difficult for us. How do you want to create shida? Then uio shida is itendeke lazima tuende tuwalambe miki. This must stop. And it has to stop this lower savannah. Jakaranda protested and we are addressing the current MCA Bonamagoba. Kama hawezi saidia Jakaranda, tell him to, sta to step aside. Naache tufuate sheria vile tunakwata. Sasa iyo ni barua ya county ime expire because of their delay. Ini barua ya county ime expire because of their delay. Na sasa up to now, yeye ndi unona and he, he has the muscle in this country because it seems we are living in a lawless country. He is the MCA, he is untouchable. He cannot be arrested for breaking the law. Alikuja kakuta, tuko na barua, tu na chimba vizuri, tu mefuata directives, tuko na maofisa wa county hapa, tuko na chief, tuko na DCT instruction, tu meambio tuanze kazi. Because he is just a simple MCA, atakuja na weke stalemate. Now I want you to understand this way. Our Nihokas, why are they here? He needs to tell us, Soko ya lua savana iko api achukua wapeneke. Now what is his vested interest with the Hokas? Because even them being here, they are paying. Kuna watu wanalipa. Walipe illegally waendele kufunja sheria kukaa because watalindwa na MCA kufunja sheria ya inchi. Lakini wewe na mimi tukifunja sheria, kufungwa tutafungwa na kamitu tutaenda. Lakini politician hakuna palia na penekwa. So this must stop. Na nime muambia hizi. Barabara itatengenezwa. Kauti imeseme itakusaidia. Bara hii hapa tutatengeneza. Mawa tutapanda. Drainage lazima itatengenezwa na niyawa natengeneza. Because they are the ones who spoil it. Now there will, there will be no more MCA interference on Jakaranda matter. This has to come to a stop. And I'm saying today. Today it must come to a stop. Indio barua disema tatutengenezea. Drainage as we speak. Their residents were very angry. Kwa sababu vitu zao zimearifika. Mwingine alihapu kutupa viti. Zimeoza. Tukachukua hizo picha mpaka manyumba vile zime loa. Tukampigia picha. Additional to that. Tutazunguka hapa jakaranda grounds. Mtaona hiyo siwa line. Wame tufungia siwa line maji, maji ya mbua ayezi pita. Then now, hiyo, hiyo siwa line walitengeneza. Sijui ya mani watu wanalipa hapo. Wanachukua maweza mjengo. Wanarusha siwa line. Wakirusha siwa line, drainage ya jakaranda cho inafunga. Kazi yetu kama komitii ni kushinda kukichangisha residents. Watuwe pesa, tunaenda kulipa, tushinda kukitengenezewa. What kind of nonsense is that? Then when we ask for help, we are being asked to give a lot of exorbitant money. Like this instance, the reason we are very angry, hapa na residents wengine wajwile umtajua, that Jakaranda Estate was asked to pay 1.8 million to some um, people here Ndiyo tutikisho kutengeneza hapa. Lakini because you cannot afford 1.8 million. That's why we are being harassed. Tuwezi rudisha uwa. Here is the letter. So we are really getting tired. And time has come for local politicians. Waitikia ile pesa wanalipo na serikali. Na watosheke na yo. Na waache kunyanyasa wa Kenya. Na leo sitetei Jakaranda Kote State peke yake. Hapa kuna mpaka majirani wetu hapa wamekuja kutirunga mkono. Na leo ndio ninasema hivi. Hata hao hokas wanatolewa. Nilikuwa tulikuwa tumesema hata tunambia hizi ofisi zingine. Kuna pahali wanaiza pelekwa. Kwa nini hawa pelekwa? Sasa MCA yeye ndio area. Alichakuliwa na wakazi wa hapa. Aambie leo aende aonyeshe media. Soko ya loa savana iku wapi. Na kama wame grab, aende ya kadil nao. Alate kule tashida za land grabbing into Jakaranda contest it. This has come to an end. Na ukweli ya ambiwe kutoka leo sasa. So today is today. Kazi yetu tatandika. Tukitaka kufanya kitu kama Jakaranda estate. Tutakuwa tukifanya. 
tutakuwa tukifanya tutakuwa hutukiuziwe uoga tunaambia tutadungwa visu leo tulikuwa tumeambia kuja mtu atalala mochari mtu atalala mochari does he own a house in Jakarta does he know the pain of buying a house and watching your house deplete before somebody wants to keep back it is go it has to stop it has to stop so whatever the matter hiyo inafanya akuje hapa kutuguruka alisema atasaidia hatusaidi sasa yeye ndio amekuwa adui wa Jakarta protest he needs to stop and i want in my closing i want to ask a simple question how much does it cost to tengenezea watu drainage ya cho that we have to use five years to shindage huko these are committee members ask them how many times we frequent asking for those help. phone calls like three times a week barua tumechoka kuandika tumeinua mikono juu sample zao ziko huko hawezi sema wako pokea to get their stamp is a problem and we have we have struggled gone all those miles to get even the stamps on those letters so ni either to kuwate sheria ama waseme kutoka leo lower savanna hakuna sheria kwa hivyo sasa tuende jangu kwa sababu pia NCA ameanza kuongoza watu waende jangu so a time has come you need to stop now we are very angry and a bitter lot some of us have sacrificed we are supposed to be working we no longer go to work some of us don't even go to work like three, four times in a week. Wakishugulukia masilahi ya estate. Why? It is easy, but it has been made difficult by an NCA. So we need to know the powers of this NCA. And whether he is willing to do his job and follow the law. Na kitu ya mwisho tukifunga hapa ni urudie. Achukue focus awaonyeshe lower savanna market iko wapi. Na waende waeke hapo. Now from today, Jakaranda Port Estate, it is not a market. See market, see market ya Lower Savanna, to map to Konazo. Watu wakinunua manyumba kutulikuwa na tunajua, hili ni estate tunanunua, hapa ni pakupanda maua, hapa ni show, hapa ndio siwa line na pita, hapa ndio drainage kulikuwa na mapi kutoka kaunti. All that was there. Another last thing before I forget. Hii watu natengeneza, tumefanywa cho sisi ndio cho ya hapa Savana. Mtu akitaka kukojoa anakuja na anakojoa kwa ofisa yetu. Mtu akitaka kutoka hapa Savana. Focus, focus wa hapa Savana. Ifikia hiyo magoba. He's a lower Savana MCA and shame on him. That hapa Savana kuna MCA. Watu wa MC, watu wa hapa Savana wanachukua uchafu yao tutaenda round. Na leo nimeona ametumatuma watu kukuja kusoma choma hiyo uchafu. Tuko na picha. Tulichukua picha mapema sana. Wanachukua uchafu yao, wanakuja wanatupa kwa ua yetu. Kuna mavi, kuna makojo, kuna shelf, kuna kuna uchafu yote ya hapa savana. Sisi ndio cho tunatupiwa hapo. Yeah. So a time has come. Yeah. A time has come and he needs to stop. We cannot stop him because we are titleless. We don't have titles. We are nobody. We are Kenyan. We don't have rights. But we have a mouth to speak. And now I'm a community leader here. I will speak and I will not fear him. Kuziwa uoga tumechoka. Hatuta uziwa uoga tena. Na kazi afanye kadri na ile pesa nalipwa. Alipwe ile pesa nalipwa afanye wa Kenya kazi. Lo especially lo savanna it is very dilapidated. Ebu utachukua video utoke kule hapa savanna. Come down. Look at the difference between hapa savanna na kutoka kwa round about kuteremka huko chini. Na wote wanapewa pesa sawa. Kwa hivyo kutengeneza atatengeneza. Na kama wewe tutengeneza acha wale wanataka kujitengenezea kwa jitengeneze in peace. One last thing nilikuwa nimesahau. Kitu ya mwisho ni niendelee. Kitu ya mwisho. Ki barabara we, sta we started lobbying for this road. Five years ago. Leo nimesema shida zote za Jakaranda na Anita. Five years ago tukalobi barabara tukafuata 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 MCA vile alikuja akasema atasaidia the last i heard from him 20 million was given on this road i have stated you guys in the group twice tukaambiwa itaanza itaanza miezi tatu miezi tatu nikaambia watu wacha niongeze mwezi mwingine just in case of a delay haikuanza tukaambiwa tena tunakuja hiyo mwezi mwingine i have stated them haikuanza Nikaonyesho tumepewa mpaka 20 milioni ya hii barabara kuskape. Haikuanza. Fast forward to date. Hatujui pesa ilienda wapi. The last idea pesa ilirudishwa. Sijui kama unaweza county inaweza pewa pesa 
watume mpaka ingilia on the ground i waste my time kwenda round mpaka na ingilia tukiangalia vile barabara itaundwa pesa tunaambiwa zimepeanwa then all of a sudden tu sisi ni wajinga tu kusoma tukaambiwa pesa ilichukuliwa ikarudishwa that is what is happening in jakaranda and we are really fed up tuliambiwa tu na kura sisi ni wachache hapa eh jakaranda ina kura kama tunakura matuna sisi ni wa Kenya tulizaliwa hapa sisi ni wakaji hapa and let me make one thing very clear Jakaranda court estate is the mother of the so called Jakaranda vile mnajua Jakaranda na sisi tumefika mpaka kutetea Kenya mzima hapa wengine wanaumia juu ya Kenya mzima we are their mothers tumeushi huku miaka na mikaka hawa ni watoto wetu tutanyanyaswa tena sisi ndio wazilishi That is why it is Jakaranda. That is why it is known as Jakaranda Cottage State. So time has come. The MCA needs to step aside. If he cannot assist us, acha tufanye kazi yetu in peace. And us sisi ni watu tumesoma. Sisi tu wajinga. Kwa hivyo aende atakuwa atakute ujinga yake aende atakute wale wajui sheria. Kama wao sasa nawaambia wanafaa kufa hapo ni yonishinde. So he stop. It needs to stop. Na kazi lazima ifanyike. Na development law wa savanna lazima itafanyika. Yes. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, mimi naitwa Nuru Okanga. Mimi ni mkaaji wa Jakaranda, but nyumbani ni Western. Na Jakaranda ni mali imejulikana atutakangi mchezo. Ukiona mahali kuna mchezo tunaingia tunaziba. Mimi nika hapa alikuwa nimekaa hapo kando. Nimesikia mkaaji wa hapa amejieleza mzuri. Na nimesikia uchungu sana. Number one Katiba yetu ya Kenya inaeleza kinaga ubaga mzuri sana. Huu ulipigia upinzani serikali kura, huu huku wapigia lazima upate maendeleo. Mkuwe na kura, msikuwe na kura, ni jukumu ya MCA wa hapa kuleta hapa maendeleo. Jambo la pili, mimi nimehuzunika na bado hiyo kitu sasa itabidi tuongee. Nataka niambie OCS wa hapa ya kwamba wale vijana wanakaa kwa hii fence ya Jakaranda, watolewe waende kazi kwa sababu huwezi kuwa vijana wanaamuka asubuhi wako kwa hiyo fence na wanashinda hapo kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni hao ndio wanaziba hiyo sewage ili wapewe pesa wafungue mkishawapea pesa after one week tena wanaziba tunaomba OCS wa hapa pamoja na mbunge wa hapa mheshimiwa babu huyu ambaye tunaheshimu na serikali yetu ya government kuna vijana wanakaa kwa hii fence wana ni watu sana Ugi, saa moja ikifika uweze kuita hapo na hii jakaranda ilikuwa jakaranda mzuri sana so mimi naomba vijana wale wanakaa kwa hiyo fence na wanauza madawa za kulevia si hata hatujui tunajua na hiyo ndio biashara mnafanya mnauza pale bank mnauza madawa za kulevia mtu waambie osi yesu wa hapa atuambie lazima hao vijana wanakaa kwa hiyo fence kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni wanalipa aje nyumba wanakula aje wanatoa hapi pesa sasa zile watu wana hustle kwenda kutafuta kazi au kazi yao vitanda zao ziko hapo nyumba zao ziko kwa hiyo fence tunaomba MCA hapa Magoba ni mulia mwanzangu na mimi siwezi ona giza nikunye kwa nyumba kwa sababu ni mulia tunaomba MCA hapa treat watu kama kiongozi waje kutreat watu kama mangombe huyu mama venye ameeleza na hii budget ya hii barabara venye pesa ilitoka lazima utueleze ilienda wapi kwa sababu hakuna sheria ambayo inasema atuwe ukwe MCA ufanye vitu vyenye unataka na mwanaenge wa kawaida akiwa akifanya kitu anaenda inda sisi tunafanyanga hapa makosa tunashikwa kama MCA amekula pesa hii barabara lazima ajibike aende senate apitie ile mikono kashango sahihi anapitia ndani kwa sababu saa hii sisi hatutaki mchezo na enough is enough hao watu wanatoa tax na kila mtu hapo na haki ya kuongea na sisi pia tuko na haki najua mtaanza kupiga porojo tumelipwa tumefanya nini but kama wewe unaweza ona pia unaweza lipwe uongee kuja ulipwe na uongee sisi tuko hapa kwa niapa ya wananchi kutetea wananchi kwa sababu hii ni estate na estate ni mahali nafai yeshimiwe estate ni kwa wadosi na kama estate kuna harufu tutapata ugonjwa ambayo aina tiba mwisho na jaribu tu kuambia OCS na mimi nikitoka hapa naenda kwa OCS. Lazima hii maneno tufuatilie kwa sababu tumeshajua kuna pesa inatembea. Kuna pesa inatembea anga kwa vijana ili wafanye kitu fulani. Naambia OCS wa hapa na mkubwa wa DCI wa hapa 
naenda hapa kwa Osius nikitoka hapa naenda matopeni kwa mkubwa wa DCI ya kwamba jakaranda sio nyumba ya mtu hii fence hii fence nyuma hapa fence au vijana wote wafagiliwe kila mtu hako na kwao hakuna mtu alizaliwa ina rubi hata kama umezaliwa ulizaliwa kwa nyumba au kuzaliwa kwa kichaka so mimi naomba wale ambao wamesimamia security ya hapa jakaranda ya kwamba mimi kama nuru kanga ambaye ni kijana mdogo sana hii hii ukuta hii haifemi nyuma ya hii jakaranda vijana wote wale wanakaa hapo wafagiliwe kila mtu aende kazi kila mtu aende kazi hii mambo ya kuchukua mamawe mkisiba siwe ili mlipwe after one week mnafunika tutakuja kukabiliana na nyinyi one on one na tuwabembelezi na kama tuta tunaweza amua tuwakimbize hiyo fence amua takaa hapo hii ni estate na lazima hao wakaaji waheshimiwe wanalipa rent wanalipa ushuru wanafanya kila kitu haiwezi kuwa watu watatu watu wawili wakae mahali wao uwe mnafanya hizo vitu mnafanya mnafunga siwe aje siwe jinaweza fungwa aje atumupewe pesa my friend chuma yeye niko motoni na imeshafika wakati kama uwezi kuomboa nyumba ya kukaa ndani wende ushago and that is my opinion i rest my case